YouTube channel. This is where we inspire, we inform, and we also encourage a person. So the vibe is getting better and better and better, and it can only get better or bestest if there is a word like that. So today, yeah, I'm gonna be taking you uh, to a very uh, beautiful area, or maybe I'm gonna surprise you. Uh, we are heading somewhere to see something that I've never showed you. And I'm rushing with time because I just came from church and I was like, you know what? If I do not do it today, then maybe the whole of the week I wouldn't get time because of work. So why not? So I rushed home, I did my thing, I prepared something for the baby and then I left and we are heading there, guys. Before I go ahead, before I disclose where we are going, guys, I have uh, been checking my analytics on, the, on YouTube and they say, the report says 50 something percent of the people who view my content are not my subscribers guys i beg you i ask you in the name of of the lord please just know <laughs> please consider subscribing to my channel because you will be doing me a very big favor it's free of charge it doesn't charge you to subscribe so why wouldn't you why won't you for real at least give me some motivation um, of me uh, taking my time to go and do the videos, the educative videos that I've been doing. And more and more is coming. Just trust me, more and more is coming. So guys, please consider subscribing today. Do not watch this video without subscribing, please, please. And uh, for the returning subscribers, thank you so much. May God bless you. You are important people in my life, okay? We are almost now to 8,000 subscribers. And I know by the end of December, we will have 10,000 plus, maybe even 20. You never know. God's way of doing things. Mm. So let's go and tour this place. I'm going to take you to where the American cars, once they have an accident and blah, 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 they, are, they, 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 they get wrecked, where they dump them the trash area, the dumping site for cars. So, come with me, guys.
exit 9. In a quarter mile, turn left onto State Highway 32 East, Ka Drive, Frontage Road, signs for Kansas City. This is a very sharp corner. Very sharp one. You have to be very careful when you are taking sharp corners. Otherwise, you find yourself off the road. Turn left onto State Highway 32 East, Caw Drive Frontage Road, signs for Kansas City. Continue on State Highway 32 East for four miles. So this junkyard is in the city in the state of Missouri you see I have entered uh, Kansas City I'm no longer now in Kansas from now on nice weather today as you can see the sky is all blue very nice weather for photography for those who do photography this is a jackpot quite a long one long trains
quarter mile, turn right onto Kansas Avenue. right onto Kansas Avenue. Continue on Kansas Avenue for three quarters of a mile. So this more of uh, need a studio area, as you can see. This is the, where the railway station is, and moving towards this side. It's more of drug companies. Um, even though we do have mobile homes right here, these are location of mobile homes. So I will come to talk more about mobile homes um, in a different video. But so that you know, these are called mobile homes. You can transport this to another area and go and plant it somewhere else. Okay? Who needs them? They shrub these uh, trees and whatever. They make some type of uh, manure that is used to... In 1,000 feet, your destination will be on the right. That is used to do um, farming. Mostly when you are doing like a yard, you are, you are making your your garden, lawn, lawn care and stuff, they use that. So your destination is on the right. Here we are, guys. Okay, I did pass, I need to do a U-turn. So, I am eventually here and I had to pay, you pay like two dollars. These are the wheelbarrows that you're gonna use to put any anything that, okay, to begin with, this is the, this is a junkyard where people come to get parts from the wrecked cars, from the cars that have been dumped here. So um, the wheelbarrows you just saw, they are used to carry the parts that people come here to get. So, um, and then you have to pass through the office and the entire place is gated. So there is no way you're gonna come here and sneak in and take anything with you. So even though you see them like they are wrecked and they are useless, there are tons of spare parts that people come for here. And I am here now uh, touring this place. Um, there are all types of cars and i'll show you like this one um this is how people come here and they take part and eventually the whole entire car will look like a skeleton because they've been thawed is it thawed no i couldn't have said that actually i think thawing is for like taking uh food from the refrigerator and for them to def 
frost okay so i'm gonna get to show you uh some of the cars some of them are newer some of them are very old but at the end of the day they help people for example if i wreck my car my car is for example it's a buick uh, i will come here and i will look for a buick the same model uh, probably not the same year because most of them will share the same parts and i will come here and try to get a part this is a ford fusion not a bad car and people come and get parts from them and there are thousands and thousands of cars here i will try to take you around some of them are from the old century and some of them are newer and as you can see i cannot even be able to see the end of this place it's there are so many like so very many and you see here i am wearing some boots uh, for this task and like i am telling you people will come here with their tools to come and try to get some parts you have to um loosen the part by yourself i don't know if this is the um i have forgotten um so some of the cars will be missing doors because someone came here and they found uh, a matching door to the uh, car so here is the deal sometimes uh, when you get into an accident your car is regarded as salvage salvage that means it has been through an accident and uh, what happens is that the insurance your insurance will come and uh, inspect your car sometimes they might um, regard it as salvage depending with the intensity of the damage done so um, people will come here when you take the car to be fixed or when the insurance sells the car and they pay you uh, they pay you for a new one the car is taken with the by the insurance company and what they do they now sell it to a person that person when they buy them at the corporate corporate is where uh, the wrecked cars are resold by the insurance companies so whoever gonna buy that car they're gonna need some parts to repair the already damaged ones and for example um this is a uh, an escalade it is a nice car but maybe the intensity of the damage it was too bad such that the insurance couldn't afford to fix it because fixing a car in america it's it, it costs a whole heart not just an arm and a leg no this is to the next level it causes a whole heart so that's why they end up some damages cannot be repaired it's more costly to uh, to repair them than to buy a new car okay so we are here and i'm gonna show you this lexus here this lexus and I believe these cars can come back to life, but the cost of fixing is too way, too, way too high. This is a Nissan Altima. So insurance companies just sell them here for parts and they are dumped here. And if you can see this Lexus, someone can come here and they are looking for the front seat. So when they come here, they're going to they're gonna take this off the front seat and go repair another lexus that has been wrecked and they need a seat a front seat okay so um 
this is the place as you can see all types of cars that you have ever thought they exist in this planet all you gotta do is to come here and choose yours if you're looking for a door if you're looking for um, some if you're looking for some other part I think this is the radiator if I'm not wrong if I'm not wrong I think I know some parts of, of the cars now it looks like a radiator uh, not so sure I think man in the house please confirm that so yeah this is what we call junkyard in America where you get a lot of cars and I'm trying to go to the farthest end to see what they got there it is super super huge area it is not just somewhere you can uh, walk in one day you can walk in one day but you will have done a lot of a lot of walking huh? so you see how these cars have been butchered that is the word they have been butchered because people come here to butcher them and get the parts they are looking for okay so i'm gonna show you um you see they are left like skeletons like skeletons but for example there might be a person looking for this specific car door so what they do let me show you what they do they come here and they get this door they will get this door out and they are gonna use this door for another car that looks exactly like this one so what they do they they get the door out even though the color might might, might differ what they do they go and do uh, bodywork whereby they gonna um repaint it to match the original car the only original color of the car that is being repaired okay so like this one um it doesn't even have any single wheel and maybe the engine is still there uh-huh and so many other parts i'm not an expert of course but i know if I check I can tell it has a lot for example if you check this one it's been butchered to nothing so this one you can't even get any single part I don't think so because even the engine is gone but if you look into this car it still has its engine intact okay so that means there was a person who was looking for an engine of this car i'm gonna check and see what type of a car it is seems to be on demand um so this is a honda that's why that's why it's butchered that much because i know hondas they are good cars and people will always try to get some parts okay and you can also come here and get like the floor mat um, let me check for a car that is a little bit cleaner to describe what I mean so you can get spare you can get spare spare tires Let me look for a car that ha okay these are the the floor marts sometimes you get them very nice you see this is a nice leather car and it has very nice floor mats in case i needed some i would have taken this and then i would go i will go and uh, i will buy them at the gate because you have to pay for any part that you get here these are kia a very nice car by the way and it's a leather 
car you can't open because the door is doesn't have the door knob for opening but it's a very very nice car as you can see i know these cars can help a person somewhere but they are not here for resale they are here for some parts okay um i'm trying to go see what they are doing over there hopefully i can be able to get in oh i saw a a mercedes so there is now this part where they now damage them like completely damage them after they have been taken most of their parts so that they can create more space here so i'm gonna show you they are damaging them uh, if you see these now are the ones that have been damaged completely and probably ready for recycle so they have this fence then on the other side is where we do that work okay you see that So yeah, so they get in there and there is a machine to damage them, okay, so you see, you see how they do it in there? is all I wanted to show you um, and that is what goes on here <laughs> <laughs>